we are going to push uh, under our ministry, um, uh, Hippolito, um, of course, our national digital agenda that is critical. Uh, we need to see some major improvements in the next year in terms of services that are rendered to the public, uh, that they, those are improved, access to, 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 to digital services. But at the same time, we want to see more expansion in the youth work that we are doing. Uh, we want to see more young people engage in the programs that we are offering countrywide, especially in the rural communities, our digital labs that we will be starting to expand on in terms of providing services to these young people in the rural communities, and of course sports. We need to see sports come to a level. We want to see more engagement, we need to see more active uh, participation from our athletes, from our business community, from our, from our populace on the whole. But at the same time, we know that we are not out of the pandemic as yet. We need to also be cautious, we need to also be uh, cognizant of the fact that these things exist, but at the same time, we need to focus on where we want to take Belize over the next 10 years, over the next 15 years, over the next 20 years. That is my vision. I'm not here uh, to say that everything is all bright. We have, there's a long road ahead, but we must do it together. And that's why I always appeal to the people, I appeal to my staff, I appeal to the ministry. Let's hold hands, continue to hold hands, because that's what we've been doing ever since November 2020. Holding hands together, riding this tide, turbulent tide that we, were, we entered. But we're finding our way now where there's a smooth sailing coming. And trust me, over the next three, four years, we are going to be in a very good uh, position as a ministry as a country and as a people.